Ooh, I look a hot mess. Oh my gosh. What is up my beautiful plant friends? So I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I honestly don't even know if I'll post this because I never, I mean never in my life thought I would be doing a YouTube video looking like this. But I woke up this morning and I didn't feel like putting on makeup. Um, I've been really trying my absolute hardest to use the weekends for myself. And I think that has been my main priority over the past few months. As you all know, I started a job. I was obviously very excited. I love my job. I really do. I love what I do. It's just that it takes so much time out of my life and so much emotional energy because of just my field in general. So I've been really trying to focus on living my life as much as I can outside of work. I never started working from home. If you all know, I had a office tour to show you all my little, all my plants in my office. Oh, hang on, my leg is falling asleep. <laughs> So I did an office tour with all of my houseplants. I was so excited. I spent so much money on this little office at home. I never ended up working from home. Really, really disappointing. And I think it would have helped a lot because I would have had a lot more time to myself. Um, you know, and been in my own little environment, but I, I know we're, we're not all going to be fortunate enough to work from home. I get that. I'm just, I am grateful to have a job. Anyway, I don't want to make this a long, huge story, but I wanted to do a different video. I have started a grow bag garden out in my very tiny, very, um, messy backyard i don't really know how to describe it but i'll show you I'll, I'll be brutally honest in this video i'm just gonna do a vlog i plan on doing these vlogs more regularly because they're easier to edit and it doesn't feel like so much pressure i think i've been putting off filming any youtube videos because it feels like another job to me and i don't want that to be the case i just I really want to just get on here, show you all what I'm doing, show you all some cool plants, some cool little gardening things that I'm doing, and just let you all be a part of my learning process. Because let me tell you, starting a grow bag garden has been really fun, but I have been non-stop just trying to educate myself on what is the best way to go about this, how do I grow these healthy plants, and it's just, it really has made me fall back in love with plants. I think for a long time, I kind of fell out of the whole houseplant, like obsession, love. And my whole house is filled up with plants. Let me just, I can show you, hang on. So, I mean, yes, I just ate breakfast and there's a random sock, but so my whole house is filled up with just houseplants which is great, but I really started kind of just walking by all of my plants like it was just a normal thing instead of really sitting down and appreciating them like I used to because I haven't had time, but the whole starting this garden outside has really made me fall back in love with my plants. Um, today is really rainy. I think I'm just gonna go pick up some garden soil, raised bed soil. Uh, which I don't even know. I feel like I'm doing everything wrong, but hopefully I'm doing it right. I'll show you tomorrow, but it looks like everything is growing pretty well. Um, I did use the wrong soil. I think I'm still using the wrong soil. I just can't find the right soil. <laughs> so if you see me making mistakes, it ju just kindly comment and give me suggestions. I'm fine with that, you know, but I'm not claiming to be an expert. I just want to film the learning process and show you all what I've got going and show you that it is possible even with the crappiest tiniest backyard you can still grow some sort of vegetable Do, can you live off of what you're growing in your tiny backyard I, I don't know I don't think I would be able to I, I just don't that's not the purpose of what I'm doing so yeah that's it let's go my allergies have been killing me. I am so glad it's raining today in Georgia. If you notice my teeth look weird, it's because I have my Invisalign in. Told you I was gonna be brutally honest in this video. Yes, I have Invisalign. Anyway, um, hopefully I'm done with that soon. I think I have like seven more months left, but if you notice I'm blinking a lot, it's because this freaking pollen in Georgia is like crazy insane. 
Anyway, so we are going to pick up raised garden bed soil and some seed starting soil because I want to start more seeds. I bought more seeds off of Burpee. Such a funny name, but they have really good stuff. I'll link them down below in the description. I also got a seed starting kit, which I will show you either today or tomorrow, but I'll show you in this video one way or another. Okay, so here is the raised bed and potting mix that I got. It is organic. This is what I've been using. My concern with this is that it's too airy. It does have like a lot of bark chips in it and things like that. So I am kind of concerned that my plants will dry out faster than they really should be. Anyway, I also got, um, you can't really see it, but it's upside down. Hang on. So I got this burpee eco-friendly organic seed starting mix. I'll show you all later, but I did start my seeds originally in that raised bed potting mix before I did any research. Like I had no idea. You're supposed to use something really soft so that that way when the seedlings are coming out, there's no big chunks of bark that are going to prevent that little seedling from being able to pop up out of the ground. So. That's why I got this seed starting mix and we'll see how it goes. The other one, I'll show you all later, but this soil did work. Okay, so I wanna show you all my little seedlings. They are in, um, let me set this camera down. Ooh. Okay, so I wanna show you guys my little seedlings. They are in, um, you know, those paper egg cartons that you get and you can grow them in there, but I kind of rushed it. And as soon as I got seeds, I came home, I planted it up. Like I told you already, I used the wrong soil, ended up working, but I put so many seeds in one little egg thing, not knowing that most of them would sprout. So now I have just these huge clusters of seedlings. So I've been dividing them and I'll show you how I divided the radish seedlings, which are really tough. Um, I have heard that radish seedlings don't do well being split up when they're really young or transplanted, but mine did great. I'll show you guys that later. Right now I wanna show you my beet seedlings and my carrot seedlings, which just started sprouting yesterday. All right, so I pulled these out, but I do have them here under these grow lights. Uh, these grow lights are really pink and purple, so I wanted to just pull them out and show you. Obviously, I, I didn't start this process out right, but next time I will. These are my little carrot seedlings. These are, let me see, and I got some different seeds too. Whenever I do a new video, I'll show you what kinds, but this is Long Emperor number 58 carrots. I think they're just, from what I can see, they're just regular carrots, but these are organic. So I did buy a few seeds that weren't organic, but since I'm gonna raise them organic, I'm not too worried about that. But these are the little carrots, and I plan on transplanting all of these little seedlings, hopefully either tonight or tomorrow. But these are the ones, and I'll just take this little one. These are the ones that I'm really excited for. These are little baby beet seedlings. As you can see, these were really crowded and I feel super bad, but like I said, I'm gonna get them replanted anyway. These specific types of beets are Detroit dark red beets. So here's one thing I did learn and I really did not realize when everyone was telling me the importance, hold on, let me flip my camera. Okay, sorry, all right. So one thing that I did learn that is really, really important is to label all of your seeds. When you start, even anything you're growing, you wanna have some sort of label to tell you, this is what variety, this is what is growing here, so that you don't get anything mixed up. Because especially in the beginning, it like, it is really hard to tell what exactly they are, especially when they're seedlings. Now with the beets, you can kind of tell because of that red stem, but just in general, you want to make sure to label everything. That's why I have these little labels. I have them actually for houseplants and I do have some of these in my houseplants because I have a ton of different types, but yes, label all of your stuff because like my carrots look very similar to some of the salad seeds. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the background, but I would, if those were really close together, I could possibly get those mixed up. But luckily I labeled everything and 
those are my little seeds. Let me go grab my seed starter that I bought from Burpee, which I've been buying a lot from them. They have really good seeds, so go, go check them out. Really highly recommend, so let me grab that. Yes, that sock is still there in the background. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but um, this is my little seed starter. Really, really pretty, but that's not why I got it. So it has this handy dandy watering container and this little seed starter separates from it. I bought this because I can't keep using the egg cartons to plant seeds. It's just, it, they don't last that long in there and on top of that I use that for my worm composter because those are completely compostable and they're really helpful with worms they like laying eggs in there and things like that yes I have a worm composter and I do plan on doing a video on that if you want to see that video let me know it's really awesome I mean I do it indoors and I'm obsessed with it it doesn't stink no it's it's super awesome and now I have worm castings that I'm using for my indoor plants and my outdoor plants so let me know if you want a video on that but the seed starter the main reason why I got this is because of this bottom watering little uh, container here because that way it's easier for me I don't have to spray my seedlings every single day they will just have this water and soak it up as they need another really really cool thing about this is this silicone part to push out your seedling so it makes it a lot easier I was using a spoon it's just this just makes, it will make things easier. So I will link this down below if you're interested. I think this is a really good opportunity to make life a lot easier so that you can spend time enjoying planting seeds. Let's go ahead and get this seed uh, starter soil, put in some water to soak up all of that water and then it'll be ready when I get my seeds in the mail. I do have a lot of seeds coming from Burpee so I want to have that seed starter mix ready to go. Okay, so it is raining. I'm going to wait on this soil, but I did want to tell you all, as you can see right there, it says it's made from renewable cocoa core. You can buy blocks of cocoa core and just use that as seed starting mix. Um, once the seeds are in there, really when they sprout is when they're going to start needing the energy from the sun, but the seed has everything that plant needs in the beginning which is why um, sprouts are so beneficial for us because we're eating basically all of that energy it's just packed full with energy but once they sprout they're going to need the sun they're going to need a little more little more nutrients which is part of the whole you know taking the seeds out of the seed starter and planting them up and then hardening them off which i will get to in a later video but I'm gonna wait on this, so let me show you all my radishes. Okay, so I just redid my patio not too long ago. Put this cute little thing there, got all my little flowers and whatnot, but um, anyway, so I have these out here. We will talk about hardening off seedlings in another, a later video, because I haven't even really technically done that yet, but these are little salad, this is just a salad mix. So I started these seedlings inside and I put them out here on my patio mainly because it is raining outside I didn't want any of these little seedlings to get dislodged in here they're really sensitive when they're little babies like this but also because this is this gets very very indirect light so I felt like instead of spending the time taking them outside for a few hours every single day for a week I could just put them out here and they'll get indirect light and start hardening off and it seems like it has worked so here are all of my radishes I'm waiting on more grow bags so I can put these ones in there but as you can see like I said I started way way too many seeds but here are my little baby radishes and look at the stems are getting red so I think this is just so cute these are sparkler radishes I don't know if you can see that I wrote in pencil I'll probably start uh, writing in sharpie on those but these are little sparkler radishes these grow bags are from Amazon. Are they the best? Absolutely freaking not. I, I would not say that they're the best, but they seem like they're going to work for what I need. This is a two gallon one. I probably needed to spread these out more, but learning process, it, it's okay if I lose a few. I'm not too worried about it. This is a five gallon one, which is where all of my uh, salad mix is. And here's another two gallon, two gallon. I did buy these off Amazon, like I said, they're really affordable. So really to start out, if you want a 
to start growing a few easy things like radishes, seed mix, carrots possibly are a little easy, but beets are also easy. Those root plants really are good in the spring and the fall because they like those cooler temperatures. They're not really summer, summer plants. These bags are on Amazon. If you wanna start with simple things like this, you can buy just the cheaper bags off Amazon like I did. And you probably, I would say, about need about $40 to get started. You just need the soil. You just need the little seeds and these little grow bags, which I can't remember how much they are, but uh, if I can find them, I'll link them down below. So check that out. These are, these are really not bad at all. But I did buy some of the ones from Bootstrap Farmer, I think, that Epic Gardener recommends. So those are actually coming today. So I plan on planting all these babies, the beets and the carrots in the new seven gallon ones that I got. And I decided to get the colorful ones. So I'm excited to show you all that. But yes, this is what I have out here. And I will probably move these outside tomorrow, out in my backyard. That's when I'll show you all everything else. Okay, so I'm in my room, but I wanted to tell you all, I have been wanting to plant vegetables like a little garden for, I mean, since I can remember. And it didn't even seem like a possibility to me until I was watching one of these sustainable YouTubers that I always watch, um, Shell Bizzle, Shelby. She's really great, but she mentioned seeing on Epic Gardener's YouTube that you can grow vegetables in a grow bag. So as soon as I heard her say grow bag, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, even though I'm renting a home and I have a crappy backyard, I can still grow vegetables. Like that is possible for me. So like I said um, earlier, it's really not that expensive to start. And you can even start seedlings off in those, you know, those black uh, plastic plant pots that we get for our house plants. You can start seedlings off in that. Like what is stopping you from doing that? Use everything to your advantage. I would say the bags of, the huge bags of soil are probably $5. And then also I told you the cocoa core, you can use that for starting seeds. That right there is probably another $5. And then you have the seeds, which are two to $3. Some are even $1 if you want to start off. And I mean, the bags of seeds will last you a very, very long time. There's a ton of seeds in there. So really, I mean, to start out, you could do everything in $30, $40, you know? So really, even if you wanna buy things in spurts, when you get your paycheck, buy something like for $15, and then the next paycheck, buy something for $15, then do that, whatever works for your budget. But my whole point is, it's possible. So don't, you know, don't give up on that, even if you don't have a lot of space, or this is also something that you've been wanting to do. And we just need to do whatever we wanna do and whatever makes us happy. So highly recommend just sticking your foot in the door and getting things started, especially now that it's spring. So jump on it. Okay, it's exciting stuff. So the sun came out literally like an hour and a half after filming. Um, so I am going to plant my seedlings in my new grow bags that just came in the mail literally like an hour ago. I'm really excited. Uh, I will show those to you in just a minute. I wanted to show you just how terrible my backyard is. I haven't cleaned up dog poop or anything like that. It's overgrown. I can't even tell you all how much work I have put into this backyard and no matter what I do, it's just, it always looks terrible. So tomorrow I'm going to work more on that. Probably won't film that since I'm gonna show you all the grow bags and planting and all of that today. So let me show you my grow bag garden that I have in the backyard right now. Here she is. Nothing too, too crazy, but I did put this little pallet out here so I can put, you know, the grow bags on there and they won't be sitting in water. I think that is really important. Even if you put them like in a, uh, a plastic saucer, even if you put them on like a plastic saucer, that should be good. You just want to make sure that these fabric bags aren't sitting in water because obviously that's going to make them look gross and break down faster and, you know everything like that same thing kind of like with house plants you don't want them sitting in water so okay so here is my lavender i love lavender and as soon as you rub on it it just puts off like the best lavender scent your hands smell like it it's just amazing i cannot wait to cut some of this and dry it it's just absolutely beautiful so there is my lavender and that's a two gallon one uh, it should be fine in there at least for a while and this is my this is a determinant 
tomato plant. This is a better bush tomato and I do have an heirloom, a packet of heirloom seeds coming in the mail and those are gonna be indeterminate. So this is my little tomato plant. These guys are really picky. I know these uh, tomato supports aren't the best, but that's what I bought. Uh, and I think it should be fine since this is a determinate one. It really won't grow that large. My indeterminate one that I have coming in the mail will definitely need a better support. So I plan on buying one of those. All of these little guys right here are just, they're giant bell peppers. I have quite a few of them. I think I got a pack of six. And these were already started seeds, but there are those. And let's come around here. This is my super cute, beautiful little strawberry plant. Look, there's one little strawberry coming up. And um, as you can see, I did put down this Spanish moss on the tomato plant so that, you know, none of the soil splashes up on these leaves and causes any infections, bacterial or fungal, you know, anything like that. But I also put it here for my strawberry plants so that if any of these do decide to grow on the soil, they're not getting eaten up by any bugs or anything like that. And look, there are some runners coming up and those will actually create new strawberry plants. So I think I'm gonna pass them over to my sister. So that's exciting. These are cute. I probably should have cut these off so it could grow bigger, but it is what it is. I'm happy with it. Okay, this guy right here is a red bell pepper and he I think is pretty large. Um, compared to the rest of them. I feel like something is eating his leaves. I haven't seen any pests, but I am keeping a really close eye on that. So they're about the same size, my tomato plant and the little bell pepper. So I am going to go out on my patio and plant up those little seedlings so you all can see how I do everything. All right, I'm not sure how it's gonna sound out here. I actually have not filmed a lot outside, um, but this mic is really good. So hopefully you all can hear me without the wind being crazy, but oh, would you look at this? These are so freaking cute. So um, these are the Bootstrap Farmer seven gallon fabric grow bags. And I got 10 of them. They come in all of these different colors, so I think uh, for the beet seedlings, I'm going to put them in the brown one because I just think that the leaves of the beets would pop with brown. It would look really earthy. I don't know. Just what I want to do. So brown for beets and obviously orange for my carrots. So I'm gonna go fill these up with the raised garden bed soil that I showed you all earlier and I will be right back. We will talk about some compost and we will plant these little guys. All right, so I got my grow bags filled up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go and get the uh, seedlings. All right, here we go. These little guys, these are the ones I showed you earlier. I'm trying to get the best angle for you guys. All right, I know it's a little weird because you can't see my face, but let me go ahead and put my gloves on. All right, so I filled these up with that garden soil I showed you all earlier, and I am going to go ahead and put some of my worm castings in here. You, you wanna kinda do it more towards the top. Wherever the roots are gonna be in the plant, you wanna do it there. And, and not that I think that these seedlings need it right now because they don't really need too, too much of that when they're babies, but I'm gonna put it in here now since I don't have to, or so I don't have to do it later. Here are my worm castings. You wanna kinda add organic matter into the soil. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in this top layer right here, since this is where the roots are gonna mainly be in the beginning. But I should put about a cup and a half, maybe. Um, I'm not like gonna exactly measure it or anything like that. I was really hoping that these would be a lot wider than they are. They're kind of deep, and that's good for the carrots, uh, you know, but, I wanted them wider so I could plant more in one. I do have 10 of them, so at least there's that, but. All right, so I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna go through and plant these. So this part can probably be fast forwarded. All right, 
right, so you kind of do want to plant these. Make sure that the roots are able to actually go deeper into the soil so that they're not all cramped up. So you want to make a, a dig a little hole with your finger. Kind of place the seedling down in there. Probably gonna get one more bag for the beets since I have so many like I still have all of these so there I mean there's quite a few that are probably gonna go to waste and that's really sad but I just don't have the space to do all of them so I'll do one more bag one more brown bag full of beets so I have eight in here I mean I'll do eight in the other one and it'll just be the same process so just like that okay sorry if you can hear the car that's my boyfriend sister coming up Okay, so I did want to show you up close. That's it. There they are. I'm filming. I'm planting some little seedlings. All right, so time to get these carrots in. Uh, I feel so bad that I'm wasting so many of them, but I can hear pebbles. Sorry about that. One little seedling is going to be one carrot or one radish so you want to make sure to separate them so that they can successfully grow that root whether it's carrot radish whatever so you just want to make sure you separate them pretty well okay all right so i think the camera is still zoomed in hold on Boop. all right so let me show you all what i planted um i saved some of the radishes let me see sorry I'm trying to get them okay so just finished planting up everything. I ended up planting some of those radish seedlings that I showed you all earlier. Um, some of them did go to waste, unfortunately, but I did save these ones that were in this little seed starter pack. I'm gonna end up giving these to my sister and making her get some grow bags and start doing it as well. So it's really uh, fun and just good for you mentally, you know, so I'm gonna force her into it and see how she likes it, but yeah. All right, so I made a little bit of a mess here, but here is what I have. So here are those little beet babies here, and then I have another bag of more beets, and then I just tossed the rest. It's a learning process. I forgive myself. I had to learn from it. Here are some little baby carrots. Look at those cuties. All right, so I have two bags of those as well. There is the other one right there. All right, and here are those little radishes. So I'm just gonna leave those ones that I showed you earlier in these smaller grow bags. I, I just feel like what's the worst that's gonna happen? Hopefully these will do well, if those don't, so on and so forth. You know, if anything, I'm gonna learn from it, so I'm not mad about it. I'll leave those there and then, um, those are my sisters. So we'll give those to her so we can save some of them and not throw every single extra seedling away. But now we're gonna water these. It's almost the same with houseplants. As soon as you pot things, you want to water it. I mean, it helps it settle in. It obviously can't be in that dry soil. So you'll wanna water it. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this vlog. Um, it was actually really fun to film and not have all of that pressure and have to re-say everything a million times. It was very relaxing. So if you watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. And car is coming by, hold on. So anyway, if you watched all the way through, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you all enjoyed the Grow Bag Garden vlog and more will be coming for sure. This is going to be a journey and I'm so excited to share it with you all. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.